Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Space Marine. I almost got it that time. I'll get it by the end of this. Uh, <laughs> uh, last episode, we finally got into into uh, Inquisitor Drogon's uh, research facility and have placed the power source into its firing chamber, though apparently something's going wrong with it, so we have to go align something in the firing chamber. Eh, you know, it's whatever. So, yeah, we're going to continue down a lift or through a loading screen as it were come on boys get in here captain you must hurry the down orcs have cut the main conduits to the firing tower you must reconnect the conduits captain or we're facing an overload that will rip this planet apart understood all right <clears throat> repair the sabotage <clears throat> Be better if your lift was quicker. See, I wonder, am I using a crack and bolt? No, I can see it. I can see right at the bottom there. I am using a uh, a bolter with a, with a uh, uh, what is it called? <laughs> with a drum magazine. There we go. Close the console. Inquisitor, the conduits are reconnected. Now, proceed to the main control panel. All right. Oddly. Oddly arrayed uh, conductors there, much like a star of some sort. Primary containment fixture disengaging. Firing sequence in progress. There's the orbital spire going all the way to orbit. Firing Big space elevator. Alarm. Ooh. Well. Did it work? Oh. I've been looking for you, Space Marine. You got something of mine. Why didn't it work? Damn that Drogon! Never trust the Inquisition! <laughs> Stand fast, Ultramarine. Oh, thank you, Sidonis. We can leave it that. Space Marine! Was that supposed to hurt? Yeah, there we go. Demons. Demons. How is this possible? Ah! Aha! You got new friends now, Spike Marine! Oh. Oh, and there goes Grimskull. Now we get to kind of the part of the game that slows down with the chaos uh, forces because they have armor. It was a big twist back in the day. It really hid the whole chaos thing for quite a while, uh, even in the uh, pre-release, like. Uh, Information. I had 
served you well, Lord Mineral. Traitor. did all that I hoped and more. But he would never have succeeded without you, Captain Titus. Thanks to these brave space marines, we have broken through to this reality. The blessed gateway. Really sucks I didn't do a second game. Like a Space Marine 2. Would have loved to follow Captain Titus. It's interesting, his uh, resistance to the war. Which impressed my servant to no end. Ah, you think the Inquisitor a traitor. But Drogon has been dead since before you first met. You have been by my puppet of flesh and bone. Oh! I ain't so easy to kill. <laughs> <laughs> Such a badass. Love the orcs. There goes Nemeroth. <clears throat> All the demons are gone. Emperor, protect us. We need an exit. To the lift. All right. Going. Oh, he goes down. <clears throat> Just gotta keep going here. And let's see. Oh, pretty vanilla in terms of the kill animations there. Alright, boys, get to the left. Whew. Did that fiend speak truth? Did we cause a chaos invasion? Of course we did. His Inquisitor puppet manipulated us from the moment we met. And before. The false Inquisitor sent the distress call. I don't think so, Leandros. The man's urgency. His fear. I believe that was the real Drogon. Facing certain death. And it found him. But not at the Orc's hands. Somehow the agents of Chaos were already here. Hmm. Oh. Two-way fight. <clears throat> oh, let's make it a three-way. Captain, keep moving! Got. 
Okay. Toss some of those in there. Help from the orcs, they're easier to deal with. Okay, keep going. There we go. Thin him out, thin him out. Damn it. There we go. Oh, I didn't really need to do that. I had health, but to the it's all good. Keep moving. Alright. Oh no, over here. Okay. Open the skull door. Which is pretty common for Imperial uh, architecture. That gate, it's getting bigger. If it gets much larger, Emeroth can bring his fleet through. Then we must cut the link between warp gate and tower. You have a plan. We use Invictus to sever the orbital spire. At that range, will the Titan's cannon be affected? Hopefully. It's time we use the power source to our advantage. To supercharge Invictus. We need to reach that Titan. Alright. How do you know that you, uh, I don't know, it's using the same, like, voltage? Is it AC or DC? Is it going to work? I mean, these are questions you need to ask. Right, I was looking for a skull. Not a sc well, I guess they are skulls, but a servo skull. I just realized, because that's a thing in, like, Halo, is finding skulls. So, and the Halo is one of my favorite, uh, like old, uh, like, FPS games that I played a lot when I was younger. Which I think I've said, because I did a I did a Let's Play of, uh, the uh, Remastered Collection, or at least what was available for the Remastered Collection back, uh, when I did it. Uh, they have released more, and I'm planning on doing the rest of the games in the series. Hey! That was too easy. Benjamin, something terrible has happened. Your mother. My Juliet got caught in an orc ambush. They call it your sister. She was screaming and your mother threw herself at them. They laughed, Benjamin. The worst sound I've ever heard. And so, I grabbed her. The demon killed your mother, it's a drone they and took her and they broke her and I couldn't. But why? To Alone, there was no way oh, the demon could get the power source past a million orcs. It needed help. And we obliged. I was deceived. I am responsible for chaos breaking through to this world. Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit responsible there. <clears throat> okay, what do we got here? Ooh, quite a bit. Ooh, there we go. Iron Halo. Put her shield. This ancient artifact generates a personal energy shield that greatly reinforces the resiliency of Space Marine power armor allowing them to weather even the fiercest attacks. Iron Halos are so rare that only Ultramarine captains and company champions are authorized to use them. Well... Do I take the hammer? No, I'm gonna need, uh, I'm gonna need the ability to adapt to the situation. I'm just gonna double check around here, make sure there's no other skulls that I'm missing. It'll be glowing a bit, but yeah, I think... I think we're good. Okay. Ultramarines attack. Okay, he's dead. Come on. Come on. 
Thank you. Come down from there so I can beat you to death. Bastard. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna clear that out. Keep moving. I will say that I, I love this game. I know I gush, I've gushed over it a lot, but I, I really like the feel of this game. They, they nailed it. It's just so bad that they... It, it's really too bad that they didn't get a chance to make more of them. So I think they could have done some really great stuff. Captain... Duty requires that I put voice to my concerns. Speak, then. You held the unshielded power source again, Captain. And again, you emerged from the exposure unscathed. Oh! The Codex Astartes warns that those in league with Chaos can withstand the warp's touch. You forget yourself, Ultramarine. Leandros, I do not take this warp resistance lightly. But the search for answers must wait until after we deal with this chaos invasion. What if that is too late? Leandros, enough. We need to keep moving. All right. <clears throat> Leandros. Just double check. Nothing in here. Anything upstairs? Mm, maybe. Hey, found one. Send a runner to the depot at position Alpha. Let's go. You're not leading this raid. Of course I am. Lieutenant, we need you in one piece. Let's face it, you're holding us together out here, and if you get... Alright, that was a short one. A lot of power axes and space marine-sized chain swords just kind of laying around. Just realized. Hey, there we go. Okay, let's head out. Anything in here that I'm missing? Nope. Nope. Just gotta keep checking, you never know what you'll find. I definitely missed some servo skulls earlier on in the game. Hey! Are those, uh, traitor guardsmen? Are those guardsmen guardsmen? Traitor guardsmen! Don't need to waste. War portal! Kill the weak! Brothers! Attack! Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Deal with you. Come on. Okay. Traitor Guardsman. Come on. Just give up. Live for 10,000 years just to get your ass kicked. More ammo over here. Oh, jeez. My lords, help us! <laughs> Not a chance! Not to my guardsmen! Where are they all coming from? Guardsmen, report. My 
Nord Space Marine. They were on us almost immediately. Captain Titus, are you there? This is Lieutenant Mira. This whole planet has gone mad. The forces of chaos are invading this world. We must get to the Titan and destroy that warp gate. I know what route right. to take. I deployed troops to man outposts between the Calchas facility and Bastion Primus. From there, you can access the rail network and cross to Manufacturer Majakis. Understood. Okay. I will meet you there. Sounds good. Mira's got a plan. <clears throat> I trust Mira over a lot of other people. Just gonna start heading out. Okay, we're gonna have that gun position. Right, he's gone. I want to try this. Yep. <sighs> Basically grots. Alright. I need to go up over here. Here, <clears throat> come on, buddies. All right. An orc invasion. Now the tender mercies of chaos heretics. They'll probably slow each other down more than anything. At all. I mean, we weren't really slowing the orcs down as it was. <clears throat> Mostly just being an annoyance. Okay. How? How can we face them? The legions of chaos. Trooper, get yourself together right now. Yes, ma'am. The other platoons are going to fall back towards the bastion. Hold this position, or they'll be cut off. Yes. Greetings, Ultra All two of you. What is your situation, Lieutenant? As well as can be hoped, considering we are surrounded on all sides by the enemy horde. We're heading back to the command post, Captain. All right. Looks like we got Mira tagging along. Or basically, we're following Mira, actually. There we go. Gave him a little hope before I dashed it. Just want to see what's over here. Anything at all? Or is it just, uh, nope. Nothing. Let's just deal with these guys. Come on. Come on. There 
I picked the wrong person to fuck with today. Oh, there is a servo skull. Right out in the open, huh? Hmm. I want to be strong. Just say everything's all right. But it's not. The dead are everywhere. Stinking, rotting. We burn the bodies where we can, but the fire attracts more orcs. If you stop and think about a billion's dead here, you'll go mad. But no matter where you go, you find the people of this world. All dead. All waiting for help that never came. Yep. Ain't it a bitch. Okay, sounds like the orcs got themselves into something up here. Nothing over here. Chaos a little bit of uh, a little bit of a chance. I want them to just kind of. Are we dealing with uh, these guardsmen that are defending? Out a little bit. Is he and there we go. Okay, I think this is just forever like wave things. So we're just gonna start going. Or not. Got him. There's a lift over here. That it's a bit harrowing. Some of that ammo. Well Some met, that. Vera. Jonah, I half expected to find a demon chewing on your bones. Well, they'd spit me right out. Make your report, Jenna. The Greenskins have been pressing us hard, both down here and at the Bastion proper. Get ready to fall back to the Bastion. Do not engage Chaos forces directly until I get reinforcements down here to back you up. I left Chenard. Okay. At least she's handling her command well enough with this unexpected turn of events. Captain Titus. This way. All right. <clears throat> I was already going that way, Mira. Though we will have to continue going this way 
next time because we're at the end of this episode. So thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. Just hit that like button. If you want to support the channel, consider the subscribe button down below. So let's take a look at the description down below or have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye.